What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail America's addiction to anger. So, one of the subscribers commented about me going off on a live not too long ago. And, uh, and I think they liked that. But I had been wanting to talk about this, anyways. Uh, I said in the live that I'm angry. I'm angry, you know. And I have to work on my temper. So, I'm really chill on the internet. But the thing about it is. I learned as a as a young as a, as a young person that America is an angry nation. It's an angry place, and most people communicate in in anger or understand how to com or understand communication through anger. So what I mean by that is this: America is addicted to being angry because if I tell you something not in a nice way, the the majority of Americans won't listen. But if I tell you something in an angry way, the majority of Americans are going to say, oh, that's the, you need to, we're going to have to take that serious. Like, interesting. So I learned at an early age, um, if you want to get something done, use anger. Because it's, it's effective. It's more instantaneous. Um, but here's the thing. I also learned something about America that people don't want to say. America is soft. And most Americans who, who are angry are soft. And what I mean by that is this. All of this anger is just barking. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's all that. If you're really, really about that action, you're going to save that barking energy for actually getting it done. So... Case in point, when people say that person's speaking with passion, a lot of the time these people aren't speaking with passion. They're just they're just angry, and they figure if I talk louder than you, and, I, and, I, and if I'm rude and disrespectful, people are gonna take what I'm saying seriously because this is America. Me, me and the person gonna be having a conversation, and they don't they hear what I'm saying, but they don't want to hear what I'm saying. So the minute they don't want to hear what I'm saying, they just want to talk like this. So you know what you're talking about? I don't know what you. It's childish. But if you were to just your mother ass up, man. Then if you see, because that's what stops that type of behavior. Get what I'm saying? So this, this, but that type of behavior is all of a sudden. I'm gonna call the police. I'm gonna go. So people like to be angry in America with their mouth. They don't like the, you know. Same thing with the with, with um, I would say Second Amendment gun culture, right? You got people who are very um very well-rounded individuals who, who carry weapons. But when you think of gun culture in America, you think of people who can't fight and who talk that stuff because I got a gun on me. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, if you didn't have a gun, you'd be quiet. But because you have a gun, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm gonna tell you what, ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me. I'm the one around here, you can't tell me. Like, it's like, okay, I got that fire on me. That's like, okay, okay. You got people taking pictures, I got guns. But see, here's the thing. In this addiction of anger, you threaten people with your guns, forgetting this country got more guns than people. So then, when I pull out my gun, because you talking about yours, that is, oh, he got the beat like that. Wait, 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 wait. I was just, I was just, I was just, I was, I was tripping. I was tripping. So this is my thing about anger. My, my thing about anger has always been the same. Like, at the end of the day, America's addicted to anger, but you don't use the anger for anything. Like, for this country to be so overweight and people have all these microaggressions, you notice they don't never work out, they don't never jog, they don't, they don't lift weights. They, it's just all barking, barking and barking and barking. And the interesting thing about it is, I, what I say about America, America is like a bully nation where we're addicted to anger, but we but we we know a target. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'm angry, I'm angry, but you know what? You know what? I'm going to be angry with that person because that person looks like they're non-confrontational. Yeah. See, I grew up in Chicago, right? And when I and one of the things about Chicago, I was laughing. I was telling um, uh, my lady and my friends this back. You know, when I went back like two years ago, I was like, "This is yeah, this is hot. Whoo, this is home to me. It feels like, like you know, 
beauty and beef. So if you look at somebody the wrong way, you know, it might just go left immediately. And people don't live like that. People don't live in environments like that. So this I so so it's a, an environment where people will be quiet. But if you think you're gonna test that person because they're quiet or they off to themselves or they look like they don't really want no problems, you might be testing the wrong person. They they would it all. It's just look, I got stuff to do. I'm trying to get up out of here, you know. <laughs> You know, I just want to go home and eat some cookies and watch TV. But if you look at that person, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Oh, okay. You might, you might not make it home. So what I mean by, you know, the bully nation, we're addicted to anger and we pick, we, we pick on the people we think we can pick on until things go left. And this is why normally I'm not uh, angry in the sense of I'm not going off because if I really want to do something, I'm going to do something. Like, that's what it is. Like, see, people, you know, I'm this kind of person. I'm that kind of... People talk that angry stuff, but if I'm angry, I'm going to get at you. I'm going to come to your door. I'm going to come to your house. I'm going to see you in public. I'm, I'm really going to pull up on you and really, we're going to really get at it. It's really going to go down. And that's how it goes if you're actually angry. But this, this nation is addicted to being angry until you get to that point. Then... You know, you went from online gangster or, or verbal gangster or, or, or you know, bully tactics or intimidating or microaggressions to all of a sudden now you're a phone warrior wanting to call the police. But you and, and here's the crazy part. If you if you calling the police with a person who's actually angry. You know how much time you got at least three minutes to fight that person off. You know how much damage you could do in three minutes? Seriously. Like, do you really understand the amount of, of, of trauma you could put on a person in three minutes? So America's anger addiction is 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 always been like a little bit like fake to me because you ask a normal person, you know, how many fights you've been in your life? Most people, it might be one or two. And I'm talking about whole life from childhood to adulthood. So all these people run around angry because they actually never really got into it for real. You know what I'm saying? So when you get into it for real, it's like, okay, this would be, okay, fine. You get, if you get into it enough, you become comfortable with that type of confrontation, no matter what type of confrontation it is, whether it's hand to hand, whether it's bats, whether it's knives, whether it's guns, you, you, you've already accepted everything that goes with the territory. If you've been into enough situations, you know, or, or do you want it to go that far? No. Is self-preservation rule number one? Absolutely. But most people in America, I don't care how big, how small, because I had to run up on some people who were bigger than me and they were, you know, and you could see it like, wait, 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 he really would it. Yeah, it's gonna go that like yeah, I don't you know, I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. and it's not it's not it's not the tough guy stuff. I can get punched in the face and slammed and beat up like anybody else. But I understand this country and I understand how this country is to the point where um we're addicted to being angry, but most people ain't gonna do nothing about it. And sometimes when people walk away from confrontations and fights and they say the person that walk away is probably, you know, the bigger person. No, that's the person who realized you ain't really finna do nothing but talk. You know, because if I just get at you, you know, you're going to cower. So why waste my time even responding back to you when I know you ain't built like that? You know what I'm saying? And that's what the country is, 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 is really based upon from the politicians to, to, the, to, the, to the bullies in school, gang members. You know, to the police officers. That's that's the majority of the people. So, you know, that's just my thoughts on that. I appreciate you for sparking for sparking me doing this video because I've been holding it off for so long. Uh, like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and catch up on the next one. Peace.